Welcome to the Student Experience, a guide to navigating Pearson Access school year 2020-2021. How do I launch TestNav? Click on the TestNav application, which should already be downloaded on your computer desktop. Next, click on the Student Portal button to access your assessment. Looking at the yellow arrow pointing to Student Portal is where you will click. You only need to do this step the first time you attempt to log into Pearson Access this school year. How do I launch TestNav? After clicking on Student Portal, be sure Prince George's County is showing in the gray box before clicking on the blue Continue button. How do I log into TestNav? On the next screen, choose PGCPS. You will be able to access the platform with your PGCPS login. When you see the screen on the left, correctly enter your username and password to log in. Your username is your first name dot last name and the password you use to access your PGCPS email. For example, if my name is Mary Smith, my username would be mary.smith and I would use the password that I access my email with. Very important, be sure to choose the correct test. Click Start Test to do so. If I am a student who needs to take the Algebra 1 test, I will make sure that I look for the Algebra 1 name before clicking on the Start Test button. This will help eliminate any issues or mistakes or testing irregularities. Confirming your test. It takes just a moment for the test to load. Once the Start button turns blue, click on it to start. Now we're going to get into some of the Pearson platform features. How do I move between questions on the test? Use the right arrow to move to the next question. Looking at where the highlighted green arrow is pointing, this is the arrow you will use to move forward through the test. The arrow on the left is what you will click on should you want to go backward. Click on the review button to jump to any question you choose. When you click the review button, a drop down menu will show any question that you would like to go to. Can I come back to test questions later? If you aren't sure about your answer choice, bookmark the item to review it later, if you have time. A blue flag appears in the review menu so you can quickly jump to the bookmarked items. Answer Eliminator. This feature comes in handy when you would like to eliminate some answers that you know are wrong. Sometimes it can be really helpful to have a visual of seeing what answers you do not want. Looking at the image below, you see a red X through answers that the student knows are not the right one. Looking at the red arrow, the X is what you will click on to use the Answer Eliminator feature. Math tools are available as well. This includes rulers, protractors, and or calculators. 
If you see the icon or icons in the toolbar, click on it to open. Use your cursor to drag it where you want on the screen for your convenience during testing. Other special features include scrolling and highlighting. Scrolling is available to help you while reading those long passages and the highlight feature you can use for text that you think is important and can help you answer questions. How do I highlight text? To highlight a passage or an item, highlight the text with your cursor and then click the pink or blue square. Use the other icon to remove highlighting. Another important reminder, sometimes tests have two passages with tabs to navigate back and forth. Please make sure you do not miss any important information. Looking at the green arrows on the left-hand side of the screen, they're pointing to the first tab and the second tab. Both tabs will have information that you need to know. On the right-hand side, is the scroll bar, which you will use to go up and down to navigate through the exam. Reviewing and submitting tests. Turning in your test. Always be sure to submit your test when you are finished. This is the only way your test can be scored. After you answer the last item, a summary screen will show to allow you the chance to review unanswered or bookmark items. Looking at the image on the right-hand side, the green button is where you will click to submit final answers. Please remember, exiting your test is not the same as submitting your test. Exiting and signing out. If you exit from your test, this means it is not complete and has not been submitted as previously mentioned. Your teacher will have to resume your test in order for you to complete and submit. Looking at the image on the left-hand side, the blue save and return later button is where you will click should you need to exit your test for any reason. To sign out of the Pearson testing platform, click on the icon in the upper right hand corner next to your name. A drop down menu will appear where you will click on sign out. What if I get stuck and I need help? Guidance is available for you. Prior to beginning testing during distance learning, your teacher will inform you on the best way to communicate any issues that you are experiencing. If you are a student who receives additional aids or features, your teacher will discuss this with you before testing. Use the options in the drop down menu next to your name to turn on and off available testing aids as needed. Please do not be afraid to ask questions and get help. This is all uncharted territory for all of us and distance learning is something that we are all figuring out as we go. We want to see you all perform at your best so please make sure you communicate any issues that you may be having. Happy testing.